finished his time with the Israeli army, he uh, then started to teach civilians. So he started to think, well, what's the most effective way I can teach someone self-defense? We're gonna move on to a front choke now. So someone's grabbing around the neck. And as you can see, when the guys are doing these moves, Krav Maga is based on natural reaction. So with the front choke, for instance, we formulate the move based on what is someone's natural reaction. Because under pressure, if someone's really grabbing you firmly or choking, you're not gonna have time to think. You're not gonna have time to formulate really hard moves. So the movements are simple. At the same time, they're gross motor skills. If we focus on fine motor skills, so say for instance, if I gave you like a needle and thread and said to you, you're under a lot of pressure, like you've got 30 seconds to get the needle through the thread, it's gonna be extremely hard. If anything, if you're under a lot of pressure in a self-defense conflict, you might be trembling, you might be nervous. So fine motor skills are extremely hard to do. Uh, an example of a fine motor skill would be like a joint lock, for instance, trying to control or manipulate someone. They do work, however, we formulate the moves based on natural reaction. It's someone's natural reaction when they're being choked to grab someone else's hands. And from that movement, we formulate the, the move of the front choke here. At the same time, another principle of Krav Maga is to strike simultaneous. So we're gonna do a move here, we're gonna do a front choke, and I want you to strike at the same time. So if you're a little bit more prepared here,